some activity down at Zuccotti Park. The fire department and members of the police office, uh, the police department, have actually moved into the park. Now, it seems to be peaceful, and it seems like they're taking out some of the heavier generators. Yeah, you know, th th that could be a fire hazard. Uh, the weather's getting colder. A lot of people are bringing in heaters and generators, but it's illegal to have that down there. So Fox 5's John Huddy is right outside Zuccotti Park. He's checking things out. And also, uh, you're going to talk about uh, how you were attacked by uh, one of the people in there. Right. And we'll, we'll, I'll get to that in a sec. But Roseanne and Greg are absolutely right. Um, the FDNY, along with the NYPD, uh, have been doing spot safety inspections here. Um, the N FDNY have brought out several uh, items. They brought out generators. They brought out uh, uh, gas tanks, kerosene. In fact, uh, Tim's getting a shot right now of one of the vehicles loaded up. You can see a power generator, actually two generators there. We've seen some bottles of kerosene brought out and, and gas tanks. Uh, this is something with the weather as cold as it is, and this is the coldest morning by far uh, since this protest the OWS uh, protest started here more than six weeks ago. Uh, there have been concerns, fire hazard concerns, uh, because of the use of these gas powered generators uh, and also propane and butane grills and tanks and, uh, and items of that sort. So, earlier this morning, uh, about 30 minutes ago, the FDNY fire marshals, uh, safety inspectors went in, uh, led by uh, Commissioner Sal Casano and some of the deputy oh, chiefs, and, uh, you know, and, and started going tent by tent. Uh, getting people up and checking their, their sleeping bags in their tents. Uh, also, members of the NYPD uh, went in as well. The Tarot Unit, the Technical Assistance Response Unit members uh, also went into the park. We have not seen anybody detained um, or arrested by police. And uh, yes, thus far, this has been peaceful here in the park. Unfortunately, I had an encounter with one of the, uh, one of the protesters who's been here. This is somebody that I've come across uh, several times in the last few days. And I, I, I want to be very clear about this. This. this is not. This person is not representative of the overall, the over, uh, the overall group here. Uh, this is one person that, unfortunately, I had this situation with. Um, he threatened to uh, to stab me in the throat. Uh, but as I discussed with several of the protesters who who are very uh, who apologized to me, uh, that again, this person doesn't represent the whole. Uh, but. We don't have the initial confrontation. What we have is uh, kind of some of the words that were exchanged afterwards. Uh, he actually ripped the mic out of my hand, but once we got the mic working again, well, this is what was said. Listen. He threatened to stab me in the throat with a pen. Said, is this how you police? He's dying. What? Is this what? how? No, exactly. Yeah, he's making no sense right now. He's ripped this off the mic. He ripped this off as well, and he just threatened to stab me in the throat with a pen. Okay? Is this, is this how you guys treat people who come in here? Is this how you treat the media? That before. Okay, who is this person and why did he just threaten to stab me in the throat with a pen? Uh, he said that you put your hands on him. I don't know what happened. You can see what, obviously, he's not making sense, he's incoherent, and he just threatened to stab me in the throat with a pen. I'm making plenty of sense and I have an attorney. I have a meeting with Bloomberg and, the, and a captain this, of the boroughs. Is this how you guys treat the media? Right, a captain of the boroughs? He's to stab me in the throat with a pen? He and that that person, I'm not sure what his name is. He was arrested, uh, detained by police. Uh, it's it is unfortunate. Um, you know, listening to that and, and looking at the video, it's very unfortunate because, uh, in, in the experience that I've had covering this now for six weeks, I've not had any confrontations, not had a problem. In fact, quite the opposite. When we've gone in there, and we've gone in there uh, multiple times. The folks in there have been gracious. They've been accommodating. Uh, they've answered all our questions. I think not only myself but some of the other reporters. Um, so again, I don't think this person represents the whole, but it's a part of an element that uh, officials, NYPD officials and city officials have been concerned about. Uh, some folks coming here for the accommodations, to sleep here for free food uh, and that kind of thing. Um, so again, this morning, just to recap the earlier events, the FDNY did spot safety infections along with members of the NYPD bringing out power generators, gasoline and kerosene as well. Greg Rosetta. Back to you. Uh, John, real quick, number one, the man is going to be in jail, it looks like, for his meeting with the mayor. That may not happen, if it was ever to happen to begin with. And i got to tell you, John, somebody threatens to stab you in the throat, and you don't back down. I was very impressed. The guy's right there. He's a little unstable. He's already threatened you, you say, at this point. And uh, John Huddy does not go running away. I don't know, John. I, I think you held your own quite well. <laughs> 
I appreciate it. I, I, again, it's unfortunate. You know, we, we didn't go in there at looking for a confrontation, obviously. We went in there to talk to the folks about what they're going to do in terms of the cold weather, how they're going to prepare for it, how they're going to try to keep people safe, uh, keep them safe from hypothermia, and, and some of those, those things that are definitely a risk, uh, to talk about some of the donations, the clothing, the sleeping bags, the tents that have been brought in here, uh, and also the other safety aspects, the fire hazard, potential fire hazards, uh, the, the generators and whatnot. And, and of course, this is just one person we've come across in the last few days. He hasn't made any sense. And uh, unfortunately, then we, we had this situation, Greg. All right, John, I'm glad you're okay. And your camera person's okay as well? I'm sorry, say that again. You, you, you broke up a little okay, bit. Okay, your camera person is saying yes. You, yeah, Tim, you, Tim's fine. Tim's, okay. Tim's, Tim's fine. Tim Daughtry's good. Okay, we want to keep both of you around a little bit longer. All right, thanks, guys. <laughs> we'll talk to you later.